the car veered off an empty road. Why? Looks like the driver wasn't wearing his seatbelt. I should find the body. Traces of pepper spray on the right side of the driver's face. Oracle must have been in the passenger seat and deliberately caused the crash. Clever. I should check the area where she was sitting. The door was torn off during the crash. If I can find where it came to rest, I can determine exactly what happened. Torn cleanly off the hinges, the door must have been opened before the crash. Oracle got out. I need to examine the reconstruction, pinpoint where she landed. free of the vehicle before the crash. <laughs> Oracle stopped here. Someone took a shot at her. I should analyze the point of impact for ballistic evidence. The caliber of the weapon is a match for the Arkham Knight's sidearm. The trajectory and impact velocity points to a shooter that matches his height. At this range, he couldn't have missed. A warning shot. I've missed something. Oracle knew she couldn't escape, but she caused this crash for a reason. She must have left a clue while crawling away. Lucius, Oracle left me the scrambler device at the scene of the crash. Decrypt the data so I can pinpoint the Arkham Knight's location. Ah, this kind of thing was more Miss Gordon's specialty. I'll see what I can do, but it'll take me a little while. I'll meet you at Wayne Tower when you're ready. Alfred, give me an update on Gotham's most wanted. One moment, sir. Right, these two are just in. A mysterious hooded figure has been spotted on a rooftop in Grand Avenue. He appears to be standing beside a burning bat symbol, sir. It might be wise to establish whether this interloper is friend or foe. Reports are also coming in of a blaze at the Bristol fire station. One suspects arson, sir, as the power to the building has been cut, disabling the fire suppression system. You may wish to investigate. Someone's lit a burning bat symbol on the Gamby store rooftop. A beacon or a threat? Time to find out.
I trust you have not forgotten me, Batman. Azrael. Dark days are here, Batman. The prophecy has come true. From the ashes of Arkham City, the fires are raging, and Gotham is burning. What do you want? I can see that same fire in your eyes. Before this night is through, that fire will consume you. Gotham will need a new savior, a new guardian, a new Batman. I'm not finished just yet. You cannot carry this burden forever. I have studied you for a long time. You have a code. You will not kill. Then neither shall I. The Order has foreseen it. The time has come to pass the mantle to another warrior. To me. If you can prove your abilities, when the time is right, I'll consider it. But first, you must show you are worthy. As you wish. Complete the challenge without getting hit to prove you are worthy. Again. This was just the beginning. There are more challenges ahead. Contact me when you're ready. Sir, I've captured Azrael's performance. Good work, Alfred. Run the usual physiological tests. Then am I to understand you're considering him as your successor? None of us know what will happen after tonight. I'll be in touch. I've created a series of diagnostic simulations to test the various functions of the suit and Batmobile. Simply select the appropriate program and the Bat computer will provide a navigational marker. Anybody seen that anarchy guy? That kid would love this. Alfred, run analysis on the blood sample I just uploaded. Right you are, Master Bruce. I'm searching for possible matches now. How you managed to get this sample is beyond me, sir. Ah. 
Here we are. The blood is heavily mutated, but we have a partial match, a Dr. Kirk Langstrom. Search for any properties in Gotham owned or leased by Dr. Langstrom. Certainly. Uh, let me see. Ah, he and his wife lease a basement laboratory in Chinatown. I'm sending you the address. Someone killed, mutilated, and posed a body on Merchant Bridge. If I'm going to stop them, then I need to investigate the crime scene for clues. I found a mutilated body, but this isn't the one Cash told me about. I'm going to try and establish a cause of death. Blood tests reveal the cause of death was an overdose of painkillers leading to cardiac arrest. Also, the victim's fingerprints have been burned off with acid. A rather unsavory demise. That's not all. It's as though the subject's DNA has been corrupted somehow. There's insufficient information for me to cross-reference the database. I'll have to use the deep tissue scanner to analyze the body for distinguishing features and determine the victim's identity. Right you are, sir. An irregularity on the victim's chest. It appears to be a birthmark, quite distinctive. There's a bullet lodged deep in the upper bicep. This type of ammunition is predominantly used with a hunting rifle that hasn't been manufactured in over a decade. The left foot is missing several toes. The site of amputation suggests the removal of non-viable tissue in the treatment of frostbite. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Robert Kincaid. He was a microbiologist who worked for Stag Enterprises. Many believe the shooting was connected to Kincaid's knowledge of controversial research, although that remains unverified. He took a teaching post in Atlanta, which is where he was reported missing. What's unusual is that they didn't go missing in Gotham. They were brought here and killed. Why? We need to track down whoever did this. Might I suggest keeping an ear out for any more of that ghastly opera music? It sounds ominously like a calling card. Someone killed, mutilated, and posed a body on Merchant Bridge. If I'm going to stop them, then I need to investigate the crime scene for clues. Alfred, I found another body. The mutilation pattern looks to be identical to the previous murder victim. Then it appears Gotham does indeed have a serial killer in its midst. And here I was thinking this evening couldn't get any worse. I'm going to scan the body for unique identifiers.
deformity on the left ear. Looks like a result of minor ear agenesis, a birth defect. A wedding ring in the lower intestine. The inscription reads, Ophelia. The victim had a hip replacement. Scar tissue hasn't fully healed, so it must have been recent. Alfred, the victim's name is Anthony Lund. Hospital records show he suffered with alcoholism, most probably brought on by the breakdown of his marriage. The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Another person taken from outside the Gotham area. A significant detail, sir. So are these words written beside the bodies. Try and find a connection between the two victims I've found, Alfred. There has to be something linking them together. I'll try my best, sir. I'm heading to Wayne Tower. If we can decrypt the Arkham Knight security protocols, we should be able to track his location. If he thinks he can hide from you, sir, he's in for something of a surprise. Nice of you to drop in, Mr. Wayne. I suppose you weren't really dressed for the front entrance. Have you finished the decryption? Fully decoded. I've downloaded all recent militia radio transmissions and their corresponding coordinates to your machine. Thanks, Lucius. I can scan the network for the Arkham Knight's voice print and determine the location of his last broadcast. I'd never been curious about your identity. I would have torn off that mask years ago. I always figured the troop would be a letdown. But I have to admit, masquerading as Gotham's least interesting socialite is one hell of a cover story. You had to go and spoil the, the surprise. The I was hoping to keep her under wraps until she's ready. Next generation disruptor. She's still a couple of weeks from completion. But I figured you'd appreciate a working prototype. I should have her with you later on this evening. Thanks, Lucius. I think I might need it. I've improved the frame too, of course. It's lighter and more durable than before. If you don't mind my saying so, Mr. Wayne, the new Batsuit looks rather smart. It looked better on me, of course. That young impersonator of yours seems surprisingly well equipped. It's as if he's based his suit on my earlier designs. I hope you don't mind my allowing Clara to stay. She said that Wayne Tower was the safest place for a hundred miles, and I could hardly disagree. Now I know it's not my place to pry, but Alfred's starting to worry. If you need to talk about anything, you know where to find me. I hope you can get Barbara back, Mr. Wayne. She means a lot to us. All of us. I know you're listening to these messages. Look, if it's about that article, blame Ryder. I had nothing to do with it, I swear. 
call me, okay? I miss you, Brucey. Brucey? Bruce, it's Kathy. You do remember me, right? <laughs> um, listen, I had, like, so much fun the other night. You were nothing like what I read in the paper. Anyway, call me when you get there. I got a couple of cute friends who are dying to meet you. Mr. Wayne, Lex Luthor calling. Apologies for going via your direct line, but I grow tired of these games. LexCorp has made a very generous offer for Wayne Tech Supplied Sciences Division. Yet your persistent unavailability begins to look less like a busy schedule and more like deliberately antagonistic behavior. Come now, meet with me. I'm sure we can come to an agreement. A man of your refined taste doesn't need an Applied Sciences Division after all. He needs another billion dollars. How'd you like the new car, Mr. Wayne? Looks like you needed that battle mode after all. Identity confirmed. Good evening, Mr. Wayne. Upload waveform for analysis. Now I've waited long enough. Batman dies. Tonight. Scanning communications for voice print match. Location verified. Got it. The night's transmitting from the Miyagani Tunnel Network. Glad to be of assistance, Mr. Wayne. While you're here, we've been working on some further upgrades for your car. Let me know where you'd like us to focus our efforts. Ah, you'll like this. Wrote it myself when I saw what you were up against this evening. The drone virus hijacks the militia tank's weapon systems and causes them to target them. Ah, you'll like this. Wrote it myself when I saw what you were up against this evening. The drone virus hijacks the militia tank's weapon systems and causes them to target their allies. An upgrade to your weapons generator will let you overcharge the Batmobile's secondary weapons. You'll be a force to be reckoned with. Ah, I'll be in touch as soon as it's ready. Now if there's anything else you need, I'll be here all night. It's not like I could leave this city even if I wanted to. You know, I remember this office back when it was your father's. All those years and it hasn't changed a bit. You, on the other hand? Take care, Mr. Wayne. You know Alfred, I've traced the Arkham Knight to the Miyagani tunnel system. Excellent news, sir. But I'm detecting a significant drone presence in the area. It would be folly to engage them without the Batmobile. Noted. Shall I open the south entrance? Hold off until I get there, Alfred. I don't want to spoil the surprise.
Thank you. I thought I was dead for sure. It was animals. Think. What do you remember about the attack? The Chief had us heading back into the city, searching for civilians. He said we weren't leaving anyone behind, and, and then from nowhere this fireball or something slammed into us. I must have blacked out. Next thing I know, one of these psychos is stubbing a cigarette out on me. Have you found the others? What about the Chief? I'm still looking. Wait here. I'll arrange for you to be taken to safety. Whatever attacked us, it was airborne. Get fast! without me, was it? I mean, Scarecrow's the biggest bad guy in town. Woohoo! Not for long. Still see cops around, man. Most of them went 
Lord, I'm at the tunnel entrance. Open the doors. Just a moment, sir. I'm accessing the building's security mainframe. 